Hello to all and welcome to your day of August 21st of 2024 spiritual advice reading. We've got the waning Gibeous moon of self-reflection and personal growth taking place at this time in Pisces. So there is definitely with this Pisces energy an opportunity to benefit from your creativity. Spirit is helping the collective to be free from their insecurities, to really acknowledge your talents and gifts and skills and to create the path now that you want to start for the long term. So for this uh, 21st of August reading, I've been guided to the Game of Thrones tarot deck. I've already shuffled and here we go. So we have some form of feminine energy, could be an older earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or feminine that has reached a point where they're feeling pretty success, stable, and secure. <clears throat> if you're waiting on this, it could arrive very shortly. I'm feeling a strong energy around the 26th or 27th of August, around the last quarter moon, after a time of reflection, some form of spontaneous new beginnings, putting the collective, male or female, in a very comfortable place financially. In the thoughts position, we have an older, maybe fiery energy, Sag, Aries, or Leo. This could be just someone who is in some form of leadership position. So we've got a feminine who's feeling stable and secure, who may be thinking about another, who is a passionate masculine or in a leadership position. Yes, leadership position. So here with the Aries energy of the emperor in relation to another or others. We have spirit offering some um, <clears throat> strong energy of leadership, or there is a desire to connect with someone who is in a leadership position. Now this could be Aries energy who is focused more so on money or things of the material than any emotional connection in the relationship sector. Now we've got the Queen of Spears or Wands energy, could be a female, Sagittarius or Leo, but a very passionate feminine who is setting and meeting goals here in the creative aspects position of this circle spread. Very passionate about the work that she does. Setting and meeting goals and thinking about how far she has indeed come. In the actions position, we have another queen. We now have three queens here. This is the queen of cups energy, could be a female, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. There's a strong message with the queen of cups energy in the actions position to watch for signs and synchronicities. If you are working hard and, ex and are excited about what you are creating at this time, <clears throat> there is definitely a nudge to speak with someone who could help to guide you forward. So personally or professionally, there is someone here whereby Spirit's saying a conversation is important. Once you have that conversation, then give yourself some time to watch for spiritual signs for further information, because this is what's coming. So we have the Leo energy of the sun in the emotional aspects position. This female queen of coins energy is looking into the direction of this feel good energy. She may want to say yes to someone who's in a leadership position, fiery energy, Sagittarius or Leo. She may be thinking about an offer or opportunity to step into a position of greater leadership. So Spirit is guiding her into the spotlight, into this feel-good energy. In the subconscious position, we have the Leo energy again of the Strength card. I feel that from both of these major arcanas. So Spirit is giving the collective on the 21st of August the strength to await a conversation for you will feel very happy. In the day-to-day -day aspects position, we have yet another major arcana. One, two, three, four major arcanas out of six cards. Eight cards, pardon me. <clears throat> So in the day-to-day -day aspects position, there is someone here who is maybe wanting to move forward with the masculine who is being a bit manipulative. This person may have two different people in their foundation. 
This is also the ability to use the magician on the 21st to manifest, to have a conversation, to ask for what you want, for eventually you will recognize the signs in the form of happiness. So Spirit's giving the collective the strength to speak to someone in charge or to step into a position of greater leadership. In the inner strengths position, we have the Three of Cups, so there is celebration. Spirit is giving the collective the strength to keep on keeping on, to watch for the signs, to trust that eventually there will be a celebration. An awareness that you manifested with the strength energy, an opportunity of greater happiness, peace, and joy. <clears throat> so it's a great day to ask for what you want and to manifest a reason to celebrate. In a three card summary, we have the Knight of Spears or Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Hanged Man. So someone coming in quickly towards someone who's feeling stuck or trapped, who's waiting on some form of information. So they can leave behind a, a, an energy of manipulation, someone they don't want to work with anymore, be around, and to instead go into the direction of the beautiful Four of Spears or Wands. Celebration in the area of home, family, business. Someone is maybe feeling like a fool when it comes to an earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or when it comes to their current circumstances. But there is definitely someone with the King of Coins energy. Could be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, but someone whereby there is this offer of wish fulfillment in the area of money. Laying down what weighed heavy upon them because they asked for what they wanted and they got it with the Page of Cups. Now we have the Three of Cups, a reason to celebrate. So hang in there with these two major arcanas. On the 21st of August, look at things from every perspective. Trust that Spirit is offering the High Priestess energy to observe what is unfolding in a very patient way. For eventually you will receive the information, the offer, the opportunity you've been waiting for, and then you can make a decision and act. Some by the end of the day on the 21st are finally leaving some form of worries and concerns behind, especially in the area of business. Some are questioning some conversations here, trying to decipher if there is a third party situation. And that's a different story. So should these messages have resonated for you in some way and you have further questions about where things are headed, what you should do, and so on, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video, along with the beautiful comment section. I am still offering the summer special, which is a 15 minute, one month video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. And I wanna say a super big thank you to those of you who have come to me for the summer special and who have returned for additional spiritual advice. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and those subscribes. But most importantly, I wanna say a super big thank you to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running day to day. Take care and God bless.